So after an interesting last week in, the, in Portugal with uh, the World Cup one, I'm uh, continuing this streak of World Cups. So I'm getting ready for World Cup number two in Seged. As you maybe know that kayaking in Seged is a national sport, sport and uh, I think it's one of the most developed countries for kayaking and one of the highest, highest competition level ever. So it's going to be really interesting to go there, but before I leave, I have a few things to do. So I have an exam on Wednesday, uh, but now I'm going to film for TEDx University of Ljubljana. So thank you for inviting me to share my story, you guys, and uh, it's going to be it's going to be cool because <laughs> I'm going to be a speaker for the first first time. Um, yeah, it's happening on 30th of May at at uh, 5 p.m. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna make it, so that's why I'm uh, filming it now. Uh, but otherwise, it's gonna be an interesting path to all of these three World Cups, and uh, I hope I'm gonna manage physically and uh, mentally. But I think I've got, I've got the experience, and I think I can do this. So uh, yeah, see you guys. Oh, look at this. Yesterday, after driving about three or four hours, our uh, van broke down. So we were in, in the middle of Hungary. Um, we stayed in the motel. This one right, this one right here. And uh, this is our car now. They brought us a new car, and we can barely put us put our stuff inside. It's packed. So I'm now here with Kenny Wallace, an Olympic champion, and he has medals in all the disciplines you can think of. <laughs> How do you think that Sega is going to go? Uh, Sega will be fun. I think it, uh, the first regatta I did here was 17 years ago now. So, Damn. <laughs> yeah, I've done a few Ks up and down this course, but yeah, it should be fun. It's all, the sun's always out here. It always seems to be warm, and uh, the crowd always gets into it too, so it should be fun. should be fun and hard. Should be, it's going to be hard no matter what. Exactly. I'm here now. And here too. <laughs> So I'm here now with Josef Dostal, and he's the same age as me, and already has two Olympic medals. Am I right? No, you're not. I'm not right. I have already three. He has three <laughs> Olympic medals, and that's just incredible. So, what do you think, and what do you expect from the World Cups? Like from Sagan? Yeah. So I expect uh, to um, so to be selected for the World Championship. Right. Uh, for Rashica. Yeah. Because it's the main peak of the season. Yeah. So I have to beat all of the good guys, or right. like to. to be, to be able to compete with them, so yeah. that's my uh, that's my goal. Awesome. For get. Awesome. So I I wish you good luck. Thank you. And I hope I'll see you in Bel Belgrade. Yeah, hopefully. Thank you. Okay, thank you. So I'm here with uh, Ronnie Ra. I think uh, he won here in 2006. If you all remember the big lunge that he did. Yellow. <laughs> Gepackt. <laughs> in the Seged, um, yeah. How did you feel after the Olympics? When you heard your name that you were third in the K1? Uh, it was pretty emotional because I, I I think I was the last one who recognized that I'm the third as well. So I, there, yeah. it's, it's a long time that I saw I was fourth and it was uh, still emotional to see videos or photos of the moment that I come third. It was uh, yeah, the pretty, pretty uh, biggest moment in my career for sure. Yeah, you always wanted to be, to, to get the medal in the K1, right? Yeah, that was, was my dream and uh, it was probably my last Olympics. Um, now I'm not sure, but yeah. <laughs> it changed to the K4 right now. Right, right. But uh, yeah, I saw it at the moment it was my last one, so it was a big thing, pretty big thing. Amazing, amazing. Congratulations. Thank you.
are uh, gonna repair my boat a little bit. I think these are the real superheroes because they manage to repair like 200 boats in a day because <laughs> everybody wants their boat to be fast. Um, I just finished my uh, quarterfinals and I had the hardest group on the 200 meters and uh, I paddled my best although it was not enough so I think Bermont won for a little margin and uh, I just don't know what's uh, happening. I don't have the solution. I think I'm quite I'm going good and I'm doing my all. I'm getting I'm putting good strokes in the water but uh, it's just not happening. The guys are faster than me and uh, I don't know. I just have to go to the basics and work on uh, what I'm not good at yet. Uh, that that'll be the um, top speed and uh, and just uh, like keeping the top speed as far as I can. So yeah, we'll see what's uh, happening in Belgrade. But for now, I think I'm, uh, it's over for my competition in Seged. Yeah, I think uh, the competition here is so high because uh, every country has uh, two per two guys that can compete in every distance. So there's two best guys of a country competing here, and uh, it's the, the level of uh, competition is it's it's unreal. It's harder than the world championships. But yeah, it's it's been a really good experience. But. Uh, I'm a little disappointed because I do not have a recipe how to get there to the big guys. I had a good time uh, being here. I uh, had a blast, and uh, like Spella and Anya, they were first in the um, in the qualifiers. They won for more more than a four and a half. It's crazy how fast these girls are in a K2. Although it was the first time that they were doing it. Sprint World Cup Seged. Spela Ponomarenko Janic, Anja Osterman representing Slovenia. Slovenia. <laughs> Silver medalists Elena Anushina, Kiria Stepanova representing Russia. Orosorstan. Gold medalists Lisa Carrington, Caitlin Ryan representing New Zealand. Thank you. 